Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back and happy holidays. In this video, I'm going to go over seven apps that you might find useful as a student. So let's get started. First is Minimalist or Minimalist, which is a free to-do list and focus app. It has an extremely minimalistic and simple interface, hence the name. So there's really no room for you to focus on anything else other than writing down the tasks. There's no tick box to check off things that you've done. You simply just swipe right on the task. If you tap on a task, it will take you to the app's Pomodoro timer, which also sports a very clean interface. You can customize the length of your Pomodoro session and the timer actually warns you if you lift your phone and try to access other apps when you're supposed to be working. It also has a nice ticking rhythm for you to work to. If you're someone who enjoys simple to-do lists with no added distractions, then this app might be for you. The next app is Fane, which is a fairly new flashcard application, unique for its drawing features that you don't see in popular flashcard apps like Quizlet or Anki. It combines drawing, writing, and spaced repetition, which are a few things that we know students like to use to memorize content. Visual learners will probably enjoy this a lot and just people in general who like to handwrite their flashcards instead of type. You can organize your flashcards by tags, but I do hope to see more improvements to organization in the future, given that it's a fairly new app. Fane is also available on the iPad, which would make it a lot easier to make flashcards since you have the pencil. A nice feature is that they sync as well, so you can draw your flashcards on your iPad and review them on your phone. Overall, this could be a pretty fun app for students to try out. Next is Dailyo Journal. This app is a pretty well thought out mood tracker that lets you reflect on your mood for the day and what activities or things you did that day. I think this is a good way for not just students, but anyone to establish a deeper understanding of what's helping or harming their mental health. Over time, you will notice patterns like certain activities are tied to worse moods, which is nicely shown with this little feature that tells you what moods and activities come together often. I like that you can also add your own activities to customize it to your life, which makes the entries and overall experience much more personal. So students, if you want to gain a little bit of insight into what could be closely tied to your mood and productivity, then you should definitely try this app out. The next app is Hatch, which is a focus timer similar to apps like Forest and Flora, but this time it gives you an egg that hatches once your timer is up and you can collect a bunch of different creatures as you finish the timers. I actually tried this once and lifted up my phone to do something and the egg actually broke in front of my eyes and got sucked up into some spaceship. So there's a little bit of incentive to keep you working so you can find out what little creature is hiding inside that egg. A good app if you enjoy the cutesy type focus timers. Next, we have Emphasis, yet another productivity app with a focus timer. This one has a little bit more substance to it since you can customize your work session, break times, daily goals, and all that jazz, so it's great for students who already have a Pomodoro strategy that works for them and want to implement it into this app. If not, this is still a great way for you to experiment with what Pomodoro setup works best for you. It also advertises features like note-taking, but I found that the Pomodoro timer is probably the most useful feature for this app. Other customization features include changing the color of the app. Next is Notion, an app I've talked about quite a bit on my channel and I feel like every student needs to try this to organize their semesters. This is essentially an all-in-one workspace for anything and everything, but I personally used it for school. I won't get too into it as I have an entire video, actually two videos on this exact Notion template and how to use it for school, so I will just link them on the screen and in the description box. Last is Quizlet, a well-known flashcard app that I've also talked about on my channel. The reason why I love it is because of its learn function. It's great for active recall and the way the app makes you learn your content is very engaging and interactive. I actually used their learn feature to ace all of my A&P courses, some quizzes and exams in nursing school, and also memorize lab values for my NCLEX. I can't recommend it enough. There is a certain way that I did my flashcards using Quizlet, which I will link in the video right now. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found some of these apps appealing. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Make sure to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more study content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.